And now, Jamie, let us go. Start with a consonant, please, Rachel. Thank you, Jamie. X. And another? S. And a vowel? E. And a consonant? H. And another consonant? B. And a vowel? I. Another vowel? U. Consonant? S. And a final consonant, please. And a final R. So, yes, Jamie? Uh, seven. A seven, Gary? A seven for me as well. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, bruises. Uh, and Gary? Uh, bushier. Bushier. Very good. Very good, yeah. Bushier. Mm. What have we got? So I was just totting up. There are quite a few sevens. I think brushes is in there, brushes, isn't it? Brushes is in, is in yeah. there. And we, yes. had, we had those two as well, bruises and um, bushier. Do you have any more? No. Nope. No. Nope. Bevy of sevens. Thank you. Thank All you. right. And Gary, letters game. OK, uh, consonant, please, Rachel. Thank you, Gary. F. And another one. S. And another one. P. And a vowel. A. And another one. I. And another one. A. And a consonant. R. And another consonant. S. And a vowel. And the last one. O. Stand by. Gary. Uh, just a five and that one. A five, Jamie? And just a five as well. Carry on, Gary. Uh, fairs. And pairs. Pairs. Can we beat five, please? There is... Oh, you know we have um, psoriasis. Uh, there is uh, a word that is uh, related to that, which is um, psoras, and they are skin diseases characterised by scabs or scales, usually with itching, so directly linked with psoriasis, uh, and that would give you a six, but very tough. Thank you very much. 60 page, 35, and uh, now, Jamie, it's your numbers game. Uh, one large and five small, please, Rachel. Thank you, Jamie. One large, five little ones coming up again, and this time your little ones are three, ten... Two, eight, and six, and the big one, 50. And this target, 799. 799. Jamie? Uh, 799. Gary? Yeah, 799 as well. Jamie? Uh, 10 plus 6, 16. Yep. Times 50. 800. And 3 minus 2 for the Here's one. Here's the one, lovely. Gary? Yeah, same. So, there, there we go. <laughs> 70 plays 45. As we turn to our second tea time teaser, which is gas aligned, and the clue had several business transactions with the croupier, perhaps. Had several business transactions with the croupier, perhaps. One welcome back. I left with the clue. Had several business transactions with the croupier, perhaps. And the answer is dealings. Dealings. Get it? Dealings. 70 plays 45. Jamie on 17. Gary's. Let us go. Uh, consonant, please, Rachel. Thank you, Gary. T. And another one. P. And another one. N. And a vowel. I. And another one. E. And another one. A. And a consonant. Q. Oh. And another one. L. And a vowel to finish up. And the last one. Oh. Stand by. Yes, Gary. A uh, seven. A oh, seven, Jamie? No, yeah, seven. Gary? Uh, elation. And? Same word, yeah. Both okay. elated. Yeah, good yes. stuff. Anybody else? Toenail. <laughs> for seven. Thank you. <laughs> and? One toenail. One uh, toenail. You can have pantile as well, the sort of S-shaped shaped curved roof tile. Indeed, yeah. That's there for seven That's as well. True. All right, thank you. 77 to 52. Still all to play for. Jamie, let us game. Start with a consonant, please, Rachel. Thank you, Jamie. M. And a vowel. I. And another. E. And a third. U. And a consonant. L. And another. D. And another. N. And a vowel. O. And a final consonant, please. And lastly, S. And here comes the countdown clock. Uh, I'll try an A. 
Gary? Uh, seven. Your seven. My jewels. Now then, Jamie. I might have spelled this wrong. Uh, emulsion. Can you say that again for me? Emulsion. Emulsion. How are you spelling it? E-M-U-L-S-I-O-N. -E Perfect. Yeah, yeah, very, very good. Well, the page. Emulsion page. Yeah. Well done. What does emulsion mean, actually? In March, well, I always think about um, paint, obviously. Yeah. Um, I'll give you the exact definition. Uh, it is a fine dispersion of minute droplets of one liquid, liquid in another. Or well, type of paint used for walls consisting of pigment bound in a synthetic resin. Okay. It's all about forming emulsion with water, basically. Got it. Particles mixing with water. Thank you. Well done, Jamie. What have we got there, Helen? It's a good, good selection, I thought. There are a couple of eights hiding in there. Modulize. Yes. And also unsoiled. Unsoiled. Mm. Well done. All right. 85 then. Well done, Jamie. Against the Gary's 52. But, you know, it's not lost yet. Susie, what about your origins of words to give uh, Gary a, and Jamie a bit of a rest? Yes, a rest, but they're certainly showing stamina, which is the word that I uh, wanted to talk about uh, today. Uh, I'm going to talk about weaving, uh, first of all, and the warp in a loom, which is a series of threads running lengthways over and under which the weft uh, is passed. And in Latin, this warp of cloth was called a stamen. Uh, and it developed the transferred sense of a thread um, in both the divine as well as a human sense. So in mythology, you know about the three fates, and they're pictured as spinners of threads. And the first uh, spins a thread at the thread of men's lives. Uh, all Thank you. 85 to 52, Jamie in the lead, and it's Gary's letters game. Gary. OK, uh, vowel, please, Rachel. Thank you, Gary. O. And another one. E. And another one. U. And a consonant. N. And another one. R. And another one. T. A vowel. A. Another vowel. E. And a consonant. And lastly, N. Done by. Yes, Gary. A six. A six, Jamie. A six. Gary. A tenor. And nature. Thank you. Now, what have we got in the corner? We've got a seven. We've got neuron. Yes. And I think there may have been another seven in there, was there? Uh, yes, there is neonate, uh, which pops up on countdown from time to time. Uh, a newborn child or other mammal also used, or particularly used in the, um, in the nursing industry by midwives. They talk about a neonate as less than um, four weeks old. Thank it's you. A neonate. All right. 91 to 58, and it's... Jamie's letters game. Final one. Start of a consonant, please, Rachel. Thank you, Jamie. T. And another. D. And a third. C. And a vowel. U. And another. E. And a consonant. B. And another consonant. D. And a vowel. I. And a final vowel, please. And a final. A. Countdown. Amy. Uh, eight. Gary. Uh, five. And that five? Abide. Abide. Uh, abducted. Abducted, yeah. Very good. Ooh. Very good indeed. Yep. Abducted. Yep. Helen? Abduct and addict, so only six for me. Susie? Uh, there is, I um, was just talking about um, pregnancy actually there with a neonate. Uh, decidua is there as well, D E C I D U A, which is all about uh, the lining of the uterus during preg pregnancy, which is shed after, after birth. That is the decidua. Oh, uh, right. Linked to deciduous trees with the idea of falling off. Falling away, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, OK. I understand. All right. 99, please. 58. And now, Gary, it's the final numbers game. OK, Rachel, uh, one large one and five wee ones again, please. Thank you, Gary. One large five wee coming up for you. And for the final time today, the numbers are six, three, five, nine, six, and the large one, 100. And the last target, 277. 277. Gary. Uh, 276. 276. Jamie. Uh, 277. And 277. Jamie. Uh, 100 minus six, 94. 94. Times by 3. 282. And take away 5. Perfect. 277. Well done.
Well done indeed. Look, you've gone crashing through the uh, through the 100. 109. Well done, Gary. But you're up against what looks like an Opto champ, actually. Yeah. But uh, let's see how he does in the um, final round. Things on buzzers, please. Let's roll today's countdown conundrum. Not even from an Octo champ? No? Nope. This must be difficult. Let's see what the audience has got to say for itself. Do I see a forest of hands? Well, I do see a few, actually. Yes, sir. Is it glassware? Glassware. Let's see whether you're right. There it goes. Glassware. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> now, Jamie Walsh, call yourself an Octo champ, look. <laughs> I'll come back to you in a minute. First of all, I want to uh, thank Gary McEnany and congratulate you too, because that's a good score, 58. Uh, thanks, well yeah. done. He's a great player, now he really is. Isn't he a good yeah, player? Yeah, he is indeed. A very good player. But yeah. hold on, let's concentrate on you. Back to uh, Emmy Vale in County Monaghan. Yeah, that's it. With this good, uh, goodie bag thanks. and our very best wishes. Oh, thanks. Great to visit you. Excellent. All right. Now then, young man, we're casting you adrift now until the finals when you're coming back... Uh, just got pipped, but you're number two seed. That's brilliant, yeah. It's fantastic. And you've been a brilliant player, a charming player. You come and see us Thanks in the much. finals. I will do, really All right, we'll see you then. Well done. See you tomorrow, Helen. See you and, tomorrow. Uh, and Susie, too. We look forward to that. Thank brilliant you, stuff. So... It's scary to think Jamie would be back before Christmas. I've only just said goodbye to summer. <laughs> exactly. We're thinking about December finals. Indeed. Keep practising. I will. <laughs> see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, same time, same place. You'll be sure of it. Two more players, two new players. Good afternoon.